but a recent trend of young people being recruited as so-called low car drivers does, not, does pose a very re real danger to our residents and visitors, which fuels these narratives about violence near the border. Often using social media, cartels in Mexico recruit residents in the U.S. to travel south to the border, pick up migrants, which whom the cartel calls loads, and travel them, tra transport them, travel north to exchange for money. Sometimes, Sarah Vista, Sarah Vista does lie in the path of the, most of these car, low car drivers who need to travel through our community to proceed north. In 2020, the Sarah Vista Police Department responded to 19 vehicle pursuits in our city. In 2022, they responded to 38, which doubled. These low car drivers, who are often teenagers and young adults, are encouraged to drive recklessly through our town to discourage pursuits. This is extremely it has created extremely dangerous situations to include a low car driver speeding through an elementary school zone and crashing into a bicyclist, which was about 200 yards away from my mother's house. Two other incidents resulted in serious accidents in major intersections in our town. One occurred north of our city, which ended in a fatality. The Sarah Vista Police Department has seen an increase in felony cases submissions to the Cochise County Attorney's Office from 343 in 2020 to 588 in 2022, which is a 71% increase. I want to reiterate that this increase does not stem from the violent crimes some may fear plague communities near the border. It's largely because of these low cars. These incidents tie up a significant amount of not only our, our police department's time, and with our limited manpower, but all the law enforcement agencies that are in our region. I grew up in Sierra Vista and graduated from the local high school, Buena High School, Go Colts. I have also since raised my family there with the, in this ex extraordinary, extraordinary community, and it is a wonderful place called home. But recently I f have found myself worrying about my family members' safety in a way I never had before. I have a 16-year-old daughter who is a novice driver, and I've encouraged my family members to take different routes, to take city routes, city streets, and not go on the highways to avoid these low car drivers because low car drivers have no regard for human life. I'm not, feeling, I'm not alone feeling this way. My citizens have witnessed this reckless, dangerous behavior of these drivers, and many others have seen the headlines, the damage and harm they have caused. One incident that is etched in my mind is a, is a low car driver hit a 65-year-old woman coming home from a, going to a birthday party. Her son was trying to go to the birthday party as well and passed the accident. He did not know that, that, that was his mother. We had to tell him that that was her mother, his mother. Her name was Miss Wanda. I leave you with this final statement. I serve the citizens of Sierra Vista to keep them safe, enhance the quality of life, and support our law enforcement responders. Today, I urge you to take immediate action on the matter of approving legislation to combat the cartel's recruitment activity on social media. Thank you.